We're live back down uh, back at Forest Hills from the shot from the Goodyear blimp. Chris Everett, at the top of your picture, the number one seated woman against Yvonne Goulagong, who was ranked number four at the beginning of this tournament. Chris Everett is serving. And Julie Heldman, who was seated number eight. The Whiteman Cup captain has just slipped in next to me. First point of the women's finals, Julie. And there we've seen the new Chris Everett coming to the net, attacking with a backhand volley. Double fall. Just the second point. It's 15 all. And the first set of the women's finals, 1975 U.S. Open Championship at Forest Hills. That double fault we saw from Chris Everett, most uncharacteristic. She does get nervous sometimes against Yvonne Gouldegong. Both girls look a bit tight. They've been sitting around for hours waiting for Connors to finish. It's hard to play after a great match. You've gone through a lot of it yourself. Especially in front of a crowd like is here today at Forest Hills, pack house, as you would expect. Neither Everett nor Gulagong has ever won this championship. And I'd imagine, Julie, that means a, a little bit something extra to both of them, the fact that they've never won. Yeah, they got to win this big title. So Everett wins the first game. See this, sir? Thousand dollars in lessons. My backhand took six years of hard work. But no matter how much I put into my game, believe me, I get a lot more out of it. Jockey makes handsome, comfortable tennis wear. At Jockey, we're as serious about making tennis wear as you are about playing tennis. Nice shot. Michelin is here. Making tires for American cars, American drivers, American roads. Michelin, the people who pioneered the radial tire 27 years ago. And while Michelin makes only radial car tires today, we're not a one-tire company. We make radials for every make of car. Michelin, the new American tire company with 86 years of dedication to making the best tires in the world. The best tire we make is the only tire we make. Action live at Forest Hills. Second point. First point of the second game of set number one. Chris Everett won the first game. And now Yvonne Gulagong serving. Scores 15 love. Why is Chris Everett so unbeatable on clay? Well, the reason is she very seldom makes mistakes, and everybody else presses against her, but she presses against Gulagong. Ah! Oh. Oh. 
Beautiful overhead. Great angle on a clay court. If you hit it hard down the middle, your opponent can get it. So you have to try and angle it over for a winner. 40 love to score now. Women's finals. Everett and Gulagong. the point tried to attack against Yvonne Gulagong's backhand. A great shot, hard in the corner. She moved in on it, but Yvonne hit a lob on the line, which got her back in the point. A high defensive lob. It's now one all for a set. Yvonne Gulagong seems to content to stay back and rally with Chris Everett, a tactic which can be disastrous as the match goes along. No way to beat her with patience. She's got it. What a touch. Not really a, a soft drop shot, a little dink shot to the corner. I don't know if Chris thought it was out or not. Some of the fans didn't, that's obvious. The court's very wet and very slow in between the men's singles in this match. They watered it, rolled it, swept it. shot to hit, a two-handed drop shot there winner. Chris developed it in the last couple of years. She has fantastic touch on every shot. 30 all. had to stretch on her two-handed backhand and it's she didn't take the extra step she just stretched now she's down break point games are one all are 2-1 Gulagong in the finals uh, for the Women's Shitty. Championship of the U.S. Shitty. Open at Forest Shitty. Hill.
people get hungry in St. Louis, they reach for the Yellow Pages. You'll find us here under restaurants. I'm Stan Musial. I've been in the restaurant business for 25 years. I know the value of Yellow Pages advertising. Every time that phone rings, chances are our ad is working. So if you're in St. Louis and want to see the real Stan Musial, reach for the Yellow Pages. But don't look under baseball players. Let your fingers do the walking. It's a snap. Advertise in the Yellow Pages. Rapid Shave takes you inside tennis with Poncho Gonzalez. I teach Dinkum Tennis to make you concentrate on watching the ball. You play it inside the service box. This brings you so close to your opponent, you're forced to watch the ball. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. And here's a tip about Rapid Shave Lime. It was the first lime shaving cream ever made. It smells just like fresh lime. Rapid Shave wants you to look good out there. Women's finals with Yvonne Gulagong serving in the near court. Chris Everett up at the top of the screen. Gulagong leads two games to one. The win behind Yvonne Gulagong. Lifetime record of Chris Everett against Gulagong was 11 and 9. The last time they played, however, Chris won very easily on a clay court, 6 2 6 1 this spring. That 11-9 is really a little misleading because the record on play, a surface like this, is 8-2, and two, Everett. That's right. Almost every time Yvonne's beaten Chris has been on grass. First time they met in the semifinals of Wimbledon, 1972. to lob for where Yvonne is. Borg missed both of when he was set point down twice he tried to lob and it went out the wind is carrying it up above what wind there is is blowing from Gulagong to Everett and anything up high like that was would be carried by the wind a drop well hidden Let's have a look at that again. Chris Everett waits and waits and waits and ooh, just at the last second when Yvonne was six feet behind the baseline. Back line. <laughs> Everett going three times back to the same place, and nailing Gulag. That picture of the full house at Forest Hills from the Goodyear Blimp America from home base, Houston, Texas. Piloted by Randy McNerlin. Beautiful picture. We've had all afternoon. Started off as a threatening day, and now it's, well, it's still threatening, I guess, but not nearly as much as it was. Now that's a weird thing. We're in a stadium, the wind swirls on the ground. It's going from where Chris Everett is. Uh, up in the air, it's going in the direction Gulagong is. women prefer their backhands to their forehands. Chris, the basic, beautifully founded, two-handed backhand, always early and well-prepared. Gulagong, immensely talented, even able to take her backhand from behind her. Games are two all, score is 30 all. First set of the women's finals at Forest Hills, 1975. $25,000 to the winner of this championship and much more in prestige and fringe benefits.
There's Colette Everett, Chrissy's mom, looking a little bit nervous. <laughs> Grinning. A lot of people thought that ball Chris hit on Yvonne Gulagong's baseline was out. It was very close. Another unpopular call, so. She did. In the first set of the women's, women's finals, Chris Everett leads three games to two. For about 500,000 years, man has tried to be master of the water. Now, man has the upper hand with Black Max from Mercury. 175 horsepower. The most powerful production outboard we've ever built. Built to last. Built to take on the toughest water. And there's a bit of the Black Max in every Mercury. Mercury. Power and performance you can depend on. You can buy a powder to help keep your feet dry. And you can buy a cooling foot refresher. And you can buy an athlete's foot treatment. Or you can buy Desinex. Desinex does it all. Sprayed into shoes and boots, it helps keep feet dry and comfortable. Sprayed through stockings, it soothes and cools hot, tired, aching feet. And medicated Desinex powder helps relieve itchy, burning, peeling feet. Athlete's foot. Desinex. It does a lot more than just fight athlete's foot. There's Andy Williams, who, of course, is an avid, avid tennis follower, player. And CBS Sports will be out to cover Andy's golf tournament next year. One of a very, very expanded slate of golf tournaments we'll have for you. Look forward to that. Look forward to some great, great tennis this afternoon. We've already had some in the match between Connors and Bjorg, and now it's Everett and Gulagong in the women's finals. Games are 3-2 Everett. First set. passing shot from Chris Everett. She waited till the last minute and just slithered it across where he, when Yvonne was waiting down the line. Yvonne Gulagong played a great match yesterday. There's um, her name in Aborigine. Ah! Yvonne Gulagong is actually one quarter Aborigine. Each of her parents comes from Aboriginal extraction. She came from a sheep farm in the middle of nowhere, Barrelon, Australia. Last name, of course, is not Gulagong now, but that's what she prefers to be called. It's Cawley. Just married. Chris Everett is being outsteadied sometime by Yvonne Gulagong. I was going to say that Yvonne played so great yesterday that a lot of the locker room talk was, Will should be able to hold it for two days in a row. Ah! Played so well against Virginia Wade. Score in that match was 7-5-6-1. Virginia frustrated as much as anything else, I think, Julie, by the fantastic shots that Yvonne hit. depth of those shots.
in slow motion. That's a really silly way to end a beautiful long point because Chris Everett was on that one and Yvonne just sort of dumped the volley in the direction, exactly the opposite direction Chris was going. Act live now with Goolagong serving. Games are 2-3. 40-30. We saw Chris Everett nervous there. A tentative forehand error. She didn't finish her stroke. She's playing an old rival in a title she's never won. Chris has been looking to the sidelines to her friends Kristen Kimmer Shaw and Janet Haas and practice partners also for advice of what to do. They say hit it, don't stop, hit it. Yvonne was just floating because some of those shots were out of most people's reach. That high ball she took on the way out. I think they called it out. Do you hear what they called it? Yeah, they haven't put a score up yet. I don't think the scorekeepers are sure either. Score's still not up. They must have. No, they called it 15 all. Uh, 15 30. 15 30, right. It looks like it's going to rain at any moment, and occasionally that wind comes swirling up and it'll take the ball in any direction. Whistles from the crowd. This crowd gets noisier every year at Forest Hills, you know? Team tennis, I suppose, has something to do with that. Another forehand error from Chris Everett, still a little tentative. 15, 40. Down 15-40. Double break point. Games are three all. Oh! And the first set of the women's finals. It is 15-40. Yeah. Still match, uh, I beg your pardon, break point. Don't know why Yvonne's happy to stay in the back of the court. It's Chris Everett's game, but Yvonne's winning it at the moment. Yes. Ball is swirling around in the air. Chris was a little bit lucky to make a decent shot on the last one because she hardly moved her feet enough for the, the swirling winds. In the wind, the one thing you must do is move your feet more because the ball will get away from you. You have to be on your toes. We find just floated up to the net. She took it on the half volley. Actually, one of the few weaknesses she's shown this whole week has been getting to drop shots. Strange for such a fast player. It's advantage Goulagong.
to three. She's doing an awful lot better in the Forest Hills finals than she did in the Wimbledon finals. On a service break, she leads four games to three. She leads four games to three. Do you know me? I was Miss America 1974. The trouble is, more people remember Bert Park's name than mine. So I carry the American Express card. I use it to buy clothes in Los Angeles, theater tickets in New York, or dinner in Paris. With this, they realize there's a lot more to Miss America than just a pretty face. To apply for a card, call 800-528-8000. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Buick has taken the concept of a V8 and created something pretty special. The Buick V6. It shares design efficiencies with our V8s, but with greater fuel economy. And it's so good we've made it standard on three entirely different sized Buicks. The small rakish Skyhawk, the compact Skylark, and the mid-size Century. It means you can drive your idea of an economy car and enjoy a Buick at the same time. Buick, dedicated to the free spirit in just about everyone. Everett and Goolagong, magic names in women's tennis. And this is the finals at Forest Hills. And don't forget, we'll be on the air tomorrow afternoon at 2.30 with the men's finals between Jimmy Connors and the winner of the match to come yet this afternoon between Manuel Lorentes and Guillermo Vilas. Right now, Yvonne Goolagong serving to Chris Everett. With new bowls. 4-3 is the score. As Julie Heldman told you a minute ago, swirling winds. We've had a threat of rain all day long, and the winds blow in one direction up on top of the stadium and in the other direction down low. You can see the flag stretched out up on top. It's interesting, you know, Yvonne Gulagong has improved her second serve. Used to have no spin on it at all, and yesterday against Virginia Wade, she got confident and able to do it. Tony Trabert says it's because she doesn't get any racket speed on the She's second serve. spin on the second serve now, Julie. Super. Hit the top of the net. No. It's out. Missed. It's out. Incredible tennis. Love 40. Yvonne Gulagong didn't get down for that volley. She just dropped her racket down. I think she was tired from concentrating so many Love rounds. 40. Triple so break shots. point. Excuse me, Julie. No indication that Yvonne Gulagon was going to hit a drop shot there. She just let it slide off her racket. Julie, do you think Chrissy moves as well now as she did six or eight months ago? Yes, I think she's doing very well. She's two or three pounds heavier, but her anticipation is more of her movement than her actual speed of foot. Ah. 
Gary Maverick. There's the 1974 U.S. Open champion, Billie Jean King. She also beat Ten both of these four. women at Wimbledon. She had a great final last year against Yvonne Gulagong. And that service break just got Chris even at four all. You know, she has won over $255,000 in prize money so far in 1975. Not too bad. That's out. Interesting, when Yvonne Gulagong decides to hit out on her forehand or run forward and move in, she picks up her left foot and looks like a horse taken off at, at the gate. Games are for all in this first set. I think we're seeing the reason Yvonne's back. Too much depth from Chris's shots. Who said Chrissy can't volley? Chris can always volley when she gets her racket on the ball. She's not as mobile as, as some of the best volleyers at the net, but when she gets her racket on the ball, she does something very positive with it. On a clay court, you get your opponent wide and deep on one, you go sh volley short on the next. Hebert serving with games four all. Score is 30 love. Her set. <laughs> Chrissy must have been fooled that time because she didn't move forward very quickly, consequently didn't make much of an approach shot, and was a sitting duck at the net. She looks nervous to me. Chris isn't always quite so mobile at the net. She had to jump, but all she could do was get it in, and Yvonne makes it so easy in a shot that would have been out of reach if most women ran all the way up there. 30 all. Games are for all. Sun making an effort to break through now. 40-30. You know, Julie, before the match, uh, Yvonne was quoted as saying she felt the pressure would be on Chris because Chris was seated first and she was only seated fourth. Do you think that uh, would put much more pressure on her? Especially if you think you have to win. Chris Everett knows that everybody's expecting her to win this title. The error off the backhand makes it game Everett and she leads five games to four in the women's, final, the women's finals at Forest Hills. This new light beer from Miller is everything you've always wanted in a beer. And less. It's less filling. And light's got one-third less calories than their regular beer. I don't think I drank all this beer myself. The cats in the peanut gallery polished off a few. But at last, there's a great-tasting beer that's less filling. Now, the next thing they come up with will be electric drumsticks, and I'll be out of a gig. New light. Everything you always wanted in a beer. And less. If you drive, nobody has to tell you the price of gasoline is not what it used to be. So for your benefit, there's STP gas treatment. If you have a dirty carburetor, STP can help restore the precious mileage you're probably losing. Because STP gas treatment helps clean gas-eating dirty carburetors and helps keep them clean. Play it safe. Put STP gas treatment in every tank full. The way prices have climbed, you can't afford a dirty carburetor. 
Yvonne Gulagong serving at 4-5 in the first set of the women's finals. When I said that before that Chris Everett is nervous, I mean, it's comparative. She's still ahead 5-4 in the finals. Right. She's not yet hit her full stride of hitting out on every ball and hitting corners. Yvonne Gulagong has done a, a few patterns of hitting short and then long in order not to give Chris a rhythm. She's hitting short and wide and then deep on the next ball. Fine drop shot from Yvonne. She was doing that beautifully against Virginia Wade and using that also as a passing shot, short and wide against Virginia on her back end cross court. Julie, hasn't Chrissy said that she doesn't like to play Yvonne for that reason because she doesn't really ever get a rhythm? That's right. And she does love to get a rhythm. She says the worst is when somebody gives her a lot of slices and then high balls and short and long. She just doesn't like playing Yvonne. And you think of anyone who does. There's Colette Everett on the left. Is her father here? No, Jimmy Everett's at home taking care of the kids. choices what to do with a high ball three choices you can get it before it's bounced move in take it on the volley put it away you can move back and try and take it when it's lower or you can take it after it's bounced and that's the most dangerous that's what Yvonne Gulagong just tried high balls are very effective on clay because they bounce back so high score is deuce Yvonne hit the top of the net and changed its speed just a little bit. That seemed to throw Chrissy a bit. When the court's been so watered, too, there's some dead spots on the court. Oh. Advantage, Gulagong. Scores 4-5 in the first set. errors from Chris Everett. Game time. This year, Italian and French Open champion. Very seldom did she go about making unforced errors there. She did it a bit against Martina Navratil Lova in the finals of the French first set. One of the few times Yvonne has come to the net. She set it up with a very deep ball. When she's getting a short one, she's coming in. But you know, Chris, even if she is slightly nervous, is not hitting short. Take it back. Yvonne Gulagung had a chance to come in there and didn't. I think she has the same fear of Chris's ground strokes that 
Jimmy had a Borg's ground stroke. So you either hit a really good coming in shot or you don't come in. Julie, do you think Chrissy might maybe should come in a little bit more right now to try to sort of change things a little? Maybe Chris should, but she doesn't do it very often. She'd have to change her game plan, and her game plan does not seem to be to come in. Chris, good approach shot, excuse me, by Gulagon. Chris was leaning to her left. Gulagon smashed to Chris's right. It can only be a few yards away from you, but if you're leaning in the wrong direction, it's hard to turn back. Games are five all. The score is I think Chris's game plan is to rely on her ground strokes, to mesmerize Yvonne, to make Yvonne hit many, many shots until she eventually misses one. 30 all. Actually, Yvonne tries so many difficult shots that she does make some what we call cheap errors, but she has not done that very often today so far. Down break point. Yvonne has been much safer most of this year, especially since Wimbledon, than she was in the past. Ever. We'll be back with more action from the West Side Tennis Club in Forest Hills in just a moment. Cloris Leachman is Phyllis, and Phyllis is a laugh riot. Meet her Monday night following Rhoda on CBS. I'm looking at Traber. <laughs> Out of the series of Beacon Hill. Gentleman who plays the part of Lassiter. Highly successful new CBS series. In the meantime, Stadium Court. Gulagong and Everett. Ball is out. Gulagong leads 6-5, and she is serving in the first set. Serving for the set, too. That's really a bad error on Chrissy's part. She's just trying to change the pace and get the ball up a little bit on Yvonne. No sense in hitting that close to the baseline. Good first serve by Yvonne. 30 love.
the tape. It tried to climb. It almost did. Yvonne being drawn wide. Pulling Chris way wide herself. They used all parts of the court. But just caught the tape and bounced right back at her. Back live now on the second serve of Gulagong. 40-15. Three errors from Chris this game. Two completely unforced. Double set point. On the tape over there. Fantastic shot. Chris came in to Yvonne's strength. A normal coming in shot down the line, and Yvonne just fooled her completely right by her, winning the first set of a title that everybody had already awarded to Chris before she played the tournament. You know, Julie, uh, that was a tough shot. The, Yvonne made it look awfully easy the way she moved to the ball and then rolled it cross court, but that was not easy. No, one of the reasons Yvonne makes them look so easy, it seems that she's at every ball so early. It's one of the things that's so great about Jimmy Connors. He's so fast. Sometimes you can get lost in statistics, but I think this is significant. That's only the sixth set. As Chris Everett has lost on play out of the last 173 she's played. <laughs> I thought I saw a significant difference in Chris at the first point there when she played Martina Navratilova in the finals of the French. She bobbed her head after losing the first set and really punched into the ball. She did that the first point here, but then made an error at the second point. But she made an error swinging at it, Julie. I think we That's will right. see Chris start to add more pace on her shots. Got to loosen up and take a few more chances. This is action in the second set of the women's finals at Forest Hills, the U.S. Open Championship. Yvonne Gulagong with her back to you, won the first set 7-5. Chris Everett now serving first game, second set. the back of the line is skidded. Her shots are disguised well, too. She can drop shot off the forehand and she chops it sometimes. She really mixes it up well. with more determination this year than ever before. She's newly married, wants to do well so she can settle down and have children in a couple of years, she says. Uh, yes. Wind took that one. She hit a little bit late and then the wind took it. Her coach, Vic Edwards, is not here. He's down in Pittsburgh. He was here a couple of days this week. Score is deuce. How she got there.
good patience being shown by both players here, I'd say. Yvonne Gulligan finally missing a forehand. I've been watching. She's hitting almost every forehand off her back foot. You're supposed to move into the ball, and yet she has lovely control and patience hitting off her back foot. Advantage ever now in the first game of the second set. Gulligan won the first set. And Chris Everett fights back after being down. At break point. She wins the first game. So for the women's championship, Yvonne Gulligan won the first set. 1975 Opal. To those of you who have admired Opal's rugged disposition and frugal four-cylinder engine, we make this brief but proud announcement. Fuel injection. Now in Opal Manta, 1900 sedan, and sport wagon. These special edition Opals are at your Buick Opal dealer now. But you'd better hurry, because you know what happens when you put fuel injection in great little cars like these. They go fast. Buick's Opal, dedicated to the free spirit in just about everyone. George, how can you just sit there like that? Because I called Phil Sunoco. Why do you think I've been going there so much lately? I've been cultivating a friend, Grace. These days, Grace, we need a service station we can depend on. Smile, Norman. Look how many times Mr. Marshall's come to us lately. Now it's our turn to go help him. We're cultivating a customer. These days, Norman, we need customers we can depend on. Pat Summerall with the Whiteman Cup captain, Julie Heldman. We talked to Julie when Jimmy Connors about uh, how tight the rackets were strung. As soon as this point's over, maybe you could comment a little bit about how how tight rackets should be strung for women. Gulagong serving now. She won the first set 7-5. Everett won, won the first game of the second set. Double, double fault, excuse me. No uh, spin from Gulagong there. She looked a little tight. The old serve, not the new one. Most rackets are strung, if they're strung tight, they're strung a little over 60 pounds. But playing on clay, you should string them in the mid-50s and try and get pretty good gut. hit the tape and skipped into Christy. What an unforced error nonetheless. Julie, you might explain to the viewers uh, why a racket strung at 55 instead of 60 will help give you more depth and more speed on the ball. Ball stays on the racket longer. Racket's soft. Now that one really skipped off the tape. On Clay, you have to hit many, many more balls. You don't want to attack as much as you want to make sure to put the ball on the court. And that's why you have the racket strung a little bit softer. The ball will stay on the racket longer. Of course, it's a slower bounce on Clay, so you have to create more pace with your shots. Be interesting. Jimmy Connors has just walked into a box down beneath us to watch. Chris Everett play. She is on record as having said as late as yesterday that she plays a lot better when he watches. So let's see if he gives her a lift. Drop shot. Yvonne is there but couldn't get it up fast enough. Beautiful point. Chris really was running a bit faster there. Yes. All the way up at a beautiful cross-court angle. And Yvonne, as often she has done this tournament, missing the drop shot. I think her foot stuck as she slid into that ball and sort of threw off balance, too. There's 
Jimmy Connors, who just won his semifinal. Sitting next to Kristen Kimmer Shaw, Chris's best friend with whom she's staying here in New York. Connors will be in the finals tomorrow. And you'll see it on CBS beginning at 2.30 in the afternoon. Advantage to a gong. Yes. Chris has got to do everything to get the ball into play and deep. Try and do something with it. She grinned a little there. She's maybe loosening up a little. screaming at that. But then again, they scream at almost every ball is close to the line, Ben. People, Sorry. people at the other end of the stadium are the ones who do the screaming. <laughs> Real talent there. Yes. Just flicked her wrist in one direction, didn't she? Boy, that forehand up the line, that's not an easy shot. And then to pound that overhead off is uh, First darn service. good. Yvonne Gulagong has always had more talent than anybody. She just needs a little extra discipline. Especially since her marriage, she's been more disciplined. She said for the first time at Wimbledon, I'm really eager to win. Before she said, oh, it's nice day and coming out to hit a few tennis balls. That picture from the Goodyear blimp. And now we're back at stadium side. In case you joined us late, women's finals at Forest Hills, the U.S. Open Championship. Gulagong won the first set seven games to five. Chris Everett does not really seem to have a game plan except to keep the ball going. Why she was hitting to Yvonne Gulagong's normally, what is normally her strength, I don't understand. She was pounding Gulagong's back end there and lost the point. Tried to hit harder on that ball, hit through, still a little bit tight, Chris Everett is. I think it's important, Julie, that we mention we talk about someone's weakness. We're not saying that they can't hit the ball well like Yvonne's forehand. She just happens to hit the backhand better. Yes, exactly. And she makes a few more errors off her forehand than off her backhand. A few more cheap shots, I would say. is really playing Yvonne's back in. Found in the past. And when you play Yvonne Gulagong, you play to her backhand on grass and you play to her forehand on clay. The reason is she comes in well off her forehand, but she's changed her forehand. She can flick it in any direction now. 
And that makes it a bit safer, I guess, and a little bit more deceptive on clay. I think that's the key, Julie. It's harder to read. Like that one. It's in. There are so many of those short balls that Chrissy could come in behind and she'd be twice as tough as she is now. thing is true for Borg, though. He gets short balls, and he doesn't always take advantage of them, and the reason is he doesn't feel quite confident enough in the volley. They can both volley. They can indeed, and if they both would go in more, I think it'd put more pressure on the opponent, and they'd become better volleyers, don't you think? Exactly. From practice, you get better. How tough can you get? see why Chris is playing the back end. On the line. On the line again. That was close. Chris motioned it was out. She saw it clearly out. We're at a bad angle to see from here. Scores 40-30. And Chris took advantage of it, came to the net. She did indeed. And the score in the second game, uh, second set, two games for Everett, Cheers. one for Gulagong. Gulagong won the first set. Rapid Shave takes you inside tennis with Poncho Gonzalez. Everyone seems to have trouble with the backhand. The key to hitting a successful backhand is to guide the racket back with your left hand. This forces you to turn your body sideways to the net. Remember, left hand takes the racket back. And here's a tip about Rapid Shave Cool Mint. There's nothing like it on a hot day. You can feel the coolness. Rapid Shave wants you to look good out there. The new Kotex Light Days Oval Pads are so revolutionary. They're putting one in magazines. Not a coupon, not an ad, but an actual sample of the new Kotex Light Days Oval Pads in a sealed envelope in many women's magazines. Right now, you can pick up a box in your favorite store. When you see it, you'll know why it's been called the most revolutionary product of its kind. New, beltless, Kotex Light Days Oval Pads. At stores right now. You've got to see it to believe it. in the second set now of the women's finals at Forest Hills. That's the situation. Gulagong won the first, uh, first set 7-5. Everett leads in the second with Gulagong serving at 1-2. Take your seats, please. Thank you. Might mention, Pat and Julie, that earlier today in a junior finals, Howard Schoenfield of California won 6-4-6-3 over Christopher Lewis. Now, there are a couple of good youngsters coming up. Boy, 
voice was that of Tony Travert. Fifteen miles. He worked with us earlier this afternoon on the men's matches and is offering his comments now. There's Jimmy Connors on the left side of your picture. Watching Chris Everett. Yeah. And lending whatever support he can. And he Chris, is in the finals tomorrow. Excuse me, Julie. Chris just looked over at him just then after she made a, a bad, unfest forced error. He's looking very nervous for her. He does, doesn't he? Gulagong has improved immensely. I mean, I think all those fears in the locker room that she wouldn't be able to keep it up two days in a, in a row. She's playing fabulous tennis out here. I don't know who could beat her when she's playing this well. <laughs> Says your friendly neighborhood jinx, me. <laughs> it never fails. have to avoid on a fast court with Yvonne Gulagong mostly and she's been using 40, it beautifully 30. to clay that forehand coming in shot deep penetrating 43 <laughs> Patience. Game to Gulagong. They're two all in the second set. And Yvonne more often threatening to attack. It's a thing that happens you'll see more often on clay than you certainly than you will on a grass court, which is you go to attack, see that your ball isn't deep enough, and then back off it. And Yvonne did that twice that last point. I think new balls, which means they'll fly some more. And that's what happened then. It, the, the new balls don't last flying as long on clay as they do on grass because they sooner pick up dirt on grass and get heavy. Sorry, on clay they sooner pick up dirt. Julie, how long do you think Chris will stick with her game plan if she continues to stay even or gets behind again in this set? It's hard to see. I think she's nervous. It's hard to see her coming to net a lot when she's nervous. And there she did come to the net. My point is, uh, at what point do, does a player change the game plan uh, if it's not working? Oh, great back -up. Incredible backhand on the line. I'll answer your question, Tony, by saying that Chris is different from any other player. She is all concentration. She plays well because she plays normally within her own limits. She doesn't have to, she doesn't change very often. Because normally what she does is have the best ground strokes in the world. She relies on them, she stays back, she grinds other people down. So she just has to pick her own game up a little bit and not really change her plan at all. That's what I think. Right. For anybody else, maybe they'd start lobbing. Maybe they'd start hitting top spins. Maybe they'd come in more. For Chris, she just has to concentrate, get her racket back earlier, move her feet more, follow through all the basics, the simple basics. who just continue to do what they do best. And that's yeah. what Chris Everett has done. She leads in the second she leads set. Three games to two.
Want to see what corrosion can be doing to your car's cooling system this winter? We've set up an infrared camera to show you what can happen if you go year after year after year without changing your antifreeze. See these dark purple areas? That's where the radiator is clogged by ugly corrosion. If your radiator is this clogged, dangerous heat can build up inside and eventually damage your engine. How can you fight the corrosion that clogs up your cooling system? Use Prestone 2. Down inside your cooling system, Prestone, with its patented silicone silicate formula, bonds a protective film to all metal surfaces to ward off corrosion. Prestone 2 fights corrosion, boilovers, and freeze-ups, and prolongs the life of your engine. Put in a fresh fill now. Prestone protects. In the women's finals at Forest Hills, that's the way it stands. Coolagong with one set. She won the first one, 7-5. She's serving now at 2-3 in the second set. Tennis has gotten steadily better. Of the highest quality now. Chris Everett taking Tony Tabard's advice, coming to the net, changing up a little bit. Careful, he might get your job as Whiteman coming. Watch that again. Yvonne's has one of the best two backhand volleys in women's tennis. Billie Jean has the other. Look how wide she stretched, what an angle she got. That backhand volley again. Just the opposite way this time. Got way in front of her. Poked it down the line. Time before, she hit it from a pine. There's the other backhand volley possessor, Billie Jean King. It looks like it's going to rain out here. It has gotten darker, no question about it. Been threatening all day long. Rain this morning. In fact, the lights are on at the stadium court at Forest Hills. First time they've been able to do that. Tournament director, tournament director Bill Talbert has given out instructions that it's not to rain until 6.01. a foot of the baseline most of these shots <laughs> that coming in shot was so deep Chris was four or five feet behind the baseline 40 30 from the Goodyear blimp you can see or from our vantage point looking up at the Goodyear blimp you could see the threatening skies and now looking down at the stadium from the airship America. It's dark, that ball is out. It's three all. Last year, these two Get played. Yvonne Gulagong won the first set easily. And then was, as she was running away from, with the match on grass, it began to pour. And it poured, and it poured, and it poured. And the next day, Chris got back in the match. Two days later, Chris got back in the match, still not quite able to win. Big difference if it rains on play, though. I'll tell you why in a moment. Games are three all now. Second set, Gulagong won the first one, 7-5. No. That one sailed out. The difference if it rains on clay is clay absorbs the water very quickly. On grass, it's very slippery right away. And on clay, they can put a tarpaulin over and they can play late into the night here because of the lights. Or they can go on as soon as it stops. They have a tarp on grass, but they have to wait for the grass to sweat afterwards.
Chris Everett beginning to get more into her stride, trying to stay in the match as long as possible. A rain delay would help her. She could talk to her friends, calm down, get more on her toes. Court passing oh, shot, no. ready to, to take the next one, and she hit right on the line. Look at Yvonne looking at it as it went by. I guess it was good. It went by me. Where's 40 love now as we pick up the action again? Oh. Chris Everett has come back into the match. Ahead, 4-3 in the second set, having lost the first, 7-5. Jimmy Connors looking on in anxiety. Bob Feller's blazing fastball recently earned him the title great as living right-handed pitcher. I'm still on my playing weight, but my hair has turned gray. I've decided to get rid of most of the gray with Grecian Formula 16, and I'm going to start right now. Grecian Formula 16 is as easy to use as water. I use a little every day until I slowly got rid of just as much gray as I wanted. Now, once a week keeps it this way. Why look old if you don't feel old? Grecian Formula 16, Lady Grecian Formula. One way I can help you hold on to your car is give you a battery you can hold on to. Sunoco True Blue. It's so good, Sunoco will back it up for as long as you own your car. If True Blue ever fails to hold a charge in your present car, Sunoco will replace it free with proof of purchase. Just make sure it hasn't been damaged by accident or abuse. So as long as you sit behind that wheel, I'll stand behind my battery. True Blue, full lifetime warranty. The clouds seem to have lifted just a little bit. The threat of rain, I believe, has diminished. Not as dark as it was a minute ago. Yvonne Gulagong serving now at 3-4 in the second set. She won the first one of rain or no, Jersey nobody has love. left. You couldn't get out. The aisles are too packed. better depth. Chris is smoother on her ground strokes too. She's concentrated, gone back to her own game. not go in on a coming in shot not good enough Mobility at the net. The ball was dipping. She was at it, but she hadn't quite moved far enough Dirty to it. Love. Dirty love. What an incredible rally. And they, to... were, they weren't just pushing the ball around. 
Chrissy had to run pretty wide to her right to get that short ball, and when she went up the line, she had a tough time getting back into the center. Yvonne's broken a string in her racket. She only gets one serve, as Jimmy Connors and Kristen Shaw watching. If you have a long delay when you've broken a string, it doesn't matter. You steal your own fault. But if something comes on the court from the crowd and it's somebody else's fault, the whole point can start all over again. Julie, did you read Kristen's lips? She's saying to, to Chris, come on, move forward. Gotta be a little more aggressive. She took the advice. 40-15. Makes the score 40-15. I wonder if that new racket had anything to do with that ball being that far out by Yvonne. It shouldn't, Pat, because the uh, players come on with several rackets and they should be accustomed to them and have them strung the way they want them so they can change if necessary. Could have been a break in concentration. To Gulagong, it's four all in the second set. Tough spot for Chrissy to be in because Yvonne is such a loose type player anyway, and she is up a set, and it's very close to the end of the second set. So I'm sure Chris really feels the pressure at this point. Talking about how loose Yvonne is, I can see Billie Jean sitting right below me motioning about how Yvonne just flicked her wrist at that backhand. It swirled in the air. before the, the last person to have beaten Chris Everett on clay was Yvonne Gulagong two years ago. <laughs> Billie Jean, what happened? I don't know. She's a great analyst of the game though. Small lapse of concentration from Yvonne, two unforced errors. In long matches, particularly in long five-set matches of the men, but in long matches you'll get small lapses of concentration, on clay particularly, because there's just so many balls you have to hit. used to call this the Australian walkabout. She's now married to an Englishman. I don't know what they call it now. If you're going to miss an easy one, which you never should, try and do it at 40 love. Go for it big at 40 love. And then 40-15 hit a winner, right? <laughs> you're right. That's an order. She almost did on the serve. She attacked the net. Chris Everett finally beginning to take over, still only holding her serve. So that's your situation right now. From high above Forest Lee Hills, Yvonne Gulagong won the first set. Chris Everett leads in the second. Introducing the flip. One, two, three, four. Flip the flash and shoot. 
four more. Five, six, seven, eight. It's fast and fun and featherweight. General Electric introduces Flip Flash. Eight flash pictures in one trim package. GE's Flip Flash is designed for the newest pocket cameras like Kodak Trim Light or Tele Instamatic. Flip Flash. Eight great pictures with just a flip of the wrist. Two, three, four. Flip, flip flash. flash and shoot. Four more. From General Electric. You know, it takes time to learn how to handle our family's financial security properly. Do you have the time? I don't. In fact, today it really takes an expert, like a well-trained life insurance representative, especially one who's experienced in related financial areas. If you don't know one, I recommend that you see a mutual benefit representative. I did, and he helped me. Women's finals at Forest Hills. We'll pick up the action in the second set. Gulagong serving to Everett at 4-5. Oh. Both holding serve all the way through the set. Kristen tell Chris it was out, and she said, I know. The whole gallery went boo hiss, but the ball just missed. Ah! A touch of nerves from Yvonne Gulagung there. There's a Chris Everett we know from way back in the court hitting a passing shot down the line. She has great disguise on her forehand. She gets her racket back early, uses her wrist a little bit extra at the end. Chris, 30. Just two points away from winning the second set is Chris Everett now. That would make it one all. Chrissy that time. Again, just trying to float the ball deep and get it high up to Yvonne. Don't have to play it that close. The momentum has swung. Double set point for Chris Everett. Chris is taking charge of each point. Second set to Everett. on the left of your picture will serve the first game of set number three now. Sets are one all. Obviously, a very important to game to win is always the first game of each set. If you've just a whole set is over and you've got to start all over again and if you play one loose game it's a very bad time to do so in the beginning of the set. Bad bounce that time on Chris. Hit right in the place where she serves and where Yvonne serves from too. The ball didn't come up at all. No.
Nobody else does that. Or can do that. Triple break point for Yvonne. Just what you're talking about, Julie. A little bit of a letdown. Well, that ball went over because Chris hit it right. If she'd been tentative or anything like that, it would have just died and fallen on her side. And the topspin helps make that ball climb a little. You're right, Tim. Uh, Yvonne was not moving her feet the last game of the second set. She's doing it again. She is moving her feet now. You think that was nerves? I really do. She sensed that Chris was on the run, on the march. tape and skid you could hear the sound so Yvonne Gulligong breaks on top in the third set sets are one all in the women's finals at Forest Hill one game to love Gulligong in the third and deciding set Fred and I have been partners for 16 years. Uh, he does the selling. I, I, I do the paperwork. There's only one problem. Fred. Okay, Fred, I have finally had it. You see this? It's a Xerox 3100 large document copier. At last, I can copy these big ledger sheets along with everything else, and you can have copies of your very own. Thank you. You'd think after 16 years he'd trust me. His own brother. Rapid Shave takes you inside tennis with Poncho Gonzalez. The most neglected shot in tennis is the serve. People hit hundreds of forehands and backhands, but they don't practice serving. So if you want a consistent serve, you have to practice. 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 And here's a tip about Rapid Shave. It's made with aromatic oils to give it a great fragrance every shave. Rapid Shave wants you to look good out there. at Forest Hills rustling around a little bit now as Yvonne Gulagong has started off the third set by breaking Chris Everett's Take serve seats, and she yeah. takes the lead one game to love in the third set she's serving in the near court Chris Everett crest in yellow at the top of the picture <laughs> a lot of court Yvonne won the first set 7-5, Chris won the second set 6-4, and now there's no room for mistake. You know, Pat, if we get to 6-all in the third set, we'll be playing a 12-point tiebreaker. For the title. Thought... Pardon? And we'll stay right, right here until it's over. bit loose. Not the right point to be loose, loose for Yvonne Gulagong either because Chris Everett certainly is going to try and tighten up here, cut her errors down. Look how quickly Chris can run when she really wants it. And Yvonne had a racket there, but she, Chris was only a few feet away. He hit it quite hard. Yvonne guessed right. Missed. Score is 
And that shows what a costly error it was to miss that sitting forehand. Instead of 30 all, she's down 15-40, and Chris is just about back in the match. Break point. Back service breaks. Normally, I wouldn't say it matters too much, but in, uh, in women's tennis, service breaks, because often women tennis players are better in return to serve than on serve, but here they've been holding serve, particularly in the second set. Julie, last year they played the nine-point sudden death here. This year it's 12 points. Which do you prefer? The 12 point by far. It's fair for the players, and it's intensely exciting for the spectators. Again, Yvonne had guessed right. Against, if you come in against Chris Everett's backhand, sorry, her forehand, which Yvonne did just then, you have no choice but to guess. You can't really tell which way she's going to hit it. <laughs> 1975 has been a year of change for both Yvonne Gulagong, now Mrs. Colley, and Chris Everett, now president of the Women's Tennis Association as of this week. Woo! That one went over. Now we're even. Lucky. And yet she hit it right. That's the reason it went over. Yvonne seems to be wandering a bit, looking around the court, checking her strings, looking in the gallery. She's not moving in quite the same way she was when she was determined earlier on. She's really determined she skips a lot in return of serve. The basic pattern play. You hate it. Deep and wide to one side, volley short to another side. It's another basic pattern play where you go short and wide, come in deep, and then volley it away. The opposite another way. break point. now leads in the second set two games to one in the women's finals at Forest Hill. You can do beautiful things with Schweppes tonic water, bitter lemon, club soda and ginger ale. Everything Schweppes touches it improves with the sparkle of Schweppevescence and the curiously refreshing quality you get only from Schweppes. And let everything else be ordinary, the taste of Schweppes makes it extraordinary. Schweppes, the taste maker. You are exploring a most compact source of power, the Buick V6. In published EPA mileage tests, it enabled Buick Century to achieve the best highway mileage of any U.S. midsize car, 24 miles per gallon, 16 in the city. And now, outstanding performances in the Union 76 economy test. All these laurels, and so young. Nice going, Shorty. Buick, to the free spirit. 
championship at Forest Hills at stake. Yvonne Goolagong against Chris Everett in the women's finals. And Yvonne is serving, leading two games to one in the third and deciding set. Four service breaks in a row. Right. The end of the second set and the first three games of this set. Which is what I meant, but it doesn't always matter who wins if you win your own serve on clay. Chris Everett getting in, making Yvonne stretch at the ball behind her, which only she can do that well, but Chris was there for the overhead to smash it in the other corner. And with a superb return of serve, Chris Everett puts herself in position to break serve again. anticipated that one right yeah and she moves very well at the net she likes to move wide to her backhand she hit a sh perfect short volley 15 30 now double break point pretty tough to drop shot off a backhand that's that high I was just about to say the same thing. I don't know why she tried it. Woo! Way out. Well, games are two all now. And the third games set. Are two all. Five service breaks in a row. One at the end of the second set, and four in a row in this. Actually, you know, five service breaks, uh, it, or a lot of service breaks, but on this type of surface, because the, the bounce is slower and higher, the serve is not as effective. You have to rally more, so you are more apt to see service breaks on hard true or regular clay than you would on grass or cement. set Chris Everett up in the way she wanted to. She hit a short floating ball, made Chris Everett attack. Chris was a little bit tentative. Yvonne missed the backhand cross court passing shot. 15 all, games are 2-2. Sets are one all. Ball is out. 30, 30. Yvonne changing the pace, attacking serve. Just a passing thought, uh, $25,000 to the winner of this match. That's a passing thought. 12000 to the runner-up. Just 
I still think Chris made a mistake not going in behind that short ball. She actually hit it and hit a good shot and then backed up. You just have to go in behind that kind of a shot, particularly the way she can hit the ground strokes, the approach shots. her pace down quite a bit she's not taking many chances at all and yet she's hitting within a foot of the baseline she's changed decided to change pace soften up the balls are coming very close to the line a lot of whistles a lot of yells a very good lineswoman down there and it's 40-30. That's Kay Jones from New York City on the line. Chris Kimmer Shaw. As you look down at the stadium that's still full at Forest Hill. How do you spell relief? When I have heartburn, I spell relief R O L A I G S. For acid indigestion, I spell it R O L A I D S. Rolaid spells relief. In this test with Rolaid's active ingredient, laboratory acid changes color to prove Rolaid's consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. How do you spell relief? For gas, I know. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Rolaid spells relief. Do you know me? Would you believe I'm Bugs Bunny? I'm also the voice of many other cartoon characters. But in here, they don't care if I'm Elmer Fudd. So I carry an American Express card, the one card I need for travel and entertaining, for business and pleasure. Well, without this, the only way I'd get any attention is by saying, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. that's all, folks. <laughs> to apply for a card, call 800-528-8000. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Next Saturday afternoon, a unique sports special on CBS will take a look at a very distinctive event in the world of sports. The Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Foundation Special Olympics for Handicapped Children. That will be next Saturday afternoon here on CBS. And we pick up the action now in the third set of the women's finals at Forest Hills. Sets are one all. Games are 3-2 Everett. Oh. Hooligong serving. She won the first point. It's 15 love. The sway of momentum is so important in these matches. There's Jimmy getting heart failure on the sideline with his coach, Pancho Segura. The momentum is so important. All of a sudden, for two games, one of the girls will get going, and then right afterwards, she'll begin to get nervous, or the other one get going. It's a very close, tight match. Oh, yeah. Her favorite two-hander. Roll it cross court. 30-30. Well, she has two favorite two-handers, really. She likes to blast them down the line, on the line, and roll them cross.
Should be Connor's brother John in the back. I don't think Jimmy's going to play the doubles tonight if he's drinking a beer. He has already said that he didn't choose to play doubles tonight. Of course, he's got to play in the singles finals tomorrow, the men's finals. Chris was really moving very quickly there, but Yvonne hit back where she came from three times. Some fine shots, too, on break point. Of course, he's still down at break point. Short serve. at the net showing she can volley she can move up there very safely coming over that two-handed backhand two-handed backhand volley in the corner she took a swing at it actually it wasn't just a volley she took a big smack four two she's up in the third set that ball was high she had to pop that wrist to get the racket head down bring it back down the court with some power it was like a backhand smash you know, no with way. those, excuse me, Joe, with those two volleys that she made, this is what I'm talking about. I, she does volley well enough. She ought to come in more. She can do it. Set a piece, 4 2 40 love. Chris Everett serving. Strong game for Everett. <laughs> and Mrs. Everett looks on. Colette Everett looking very relieved there as her daughter is ahead. 5 2 in the third set in the finals of Forest Hills. And she seems much more in command. Most people think I'm a real monster, but actually I'm quite sensitive. That's why I drink light beer from Miller. It tastes great, but what I really like is it's less filling. And light's got one-third less calories than the regular beer. I can't afford to get filled up. I'm too sensitive. Okay, Mr. Sensitive, you're up. <laughs> Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Tulagong serving the far court. A service break here for Chris Everett would give her the women's championship of Forest Hill. Something that neither one of these two has ever won before. She leads five games to two, does Chris Everett, in the third set. Yvonne won the first one. Chris won the second one. Yvonne Gulagong, the pressure is on. Because Chris Everett has won the last eight points. It's not a choke. It's just that you have a difficult time swallowing. <laughs> no, actually what has happened is Chris Everett has just decided to hit the ball in the corners. 
It's one of the reasons she's been able to come to the net because her approach shots have been so good and she's loosened up enough to come in and put the volley away. Thought that ball was out. Double match point for Chrissy Everett. We're at that place right now. Championship could be hers if she wins one of the next two points. Tough serve here. That's there it. There it is. Open champion. There's her mother. Trying. Oh, Colette. Chris just waved up to her mother and nodded over to Jimmy Connors. She has won the championship at Forest Hills for 1975. This year, most U.S. professional tournaments have switched to a new tennis ball. The new Spalding Championship ball. Now it's built tougher from the inside out. Now it plays better, bounces truer, lasts longer. The new Spalding Championship ball. Finally, somebody's making tennis sense. If you've been waiting to buy a new car, consider this. Buick has just introduced two new versions of their popular V6-powered Skyhawk and Skylark. They're called Skyhawk S and Skylark S. And their manufacturer's suggested retail price is hundreds of dollars less than previous models. Which means that all of a sudden, you and a new Buick are hundreds of dollars closer. That's good news. Buick to the free spirit. If you pick up your phone this weekend, for only 22 cents or less, you can dial any other state in the U.S. except Alaska or Hawaii. That's all it costs to call another state with our new weekend rate when you dial direct from your home or office. 22 cents or less for the first minute. Only 16 cents or less for each additional minute. So go ahead. Spend a few moments with your family or friends. Dial and save while weekend rates apply. There she is, Chris Everett, the 1975 United States Open champion, winning the championship she had never won before, the one she was expected to win, and winning it under tremendous pressure. And I think perhaps you saw that in the early part of the match against the Van Gulagang. It took Chrissy a little while to get rid of the tension and pressure, but once she did and found herself, she was home free. Earlier today, we had a semifinal match in the men, 7-5, 7-5, 7-5 as Jimmy Connors got to the finals, defeating Bjorn Borg. We are awaiting the outcome of Manuel Morantes against Guillermo Vilas, which will be played now to see who plays Jimmy in the finals tomorrow. And that'll be our story tomorrow. The men's singles championship, women's doubles and mixed doubles will be on the air for three hours or longer if it takes, beginning at 2.30 Eastern Daylight Time. For Pat Summerall, Billy Talbert, Tony Trabert, and Julie Heldman, this is Jack Whitaker at the Westside Tennis Club in Forest Hills, New York. The U.S. Open Tennis Championships, sponsored by the Savings and Loan Foundation on behalf of the Savings and Loan Association serving America. Light beer, everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Spalding and the new improved Spalding Championship Tennis Ball. And by the 1975 Buicks, automobiles dedicated to the free spirit in just about everyone. U.S. Open Tennis Championships are a presentation of CBS Sports. Want to guess which 